Hello everyone, Paul Zinn with the Habiger Corporation and today I have a 355 AAV and I'd like to show you the secondary heat exchanger plate on this particular unit. So if we look at the back of this furnace, down through the primary heat exchanger, at the back of the furnace, we can see a plate. And that plate mounts horizontally on that secondary heat exchanger. Now, without that plate, the airflow in high heat will rip right up the back of the furnace. It won't touch the secondary or primary heat exchanger and you will trip the limit. It will only run for about a minute or two and then boom, high limit trip. It will not trip in medium or low, but without that plate, it will trip guaranteed. So if you're replacing a secondary heat exchanger, please remember to reuse that plate. A new secondary heat exchanger does not come with that plate. It must be reused. That's what it looks like when it's in place. So here we can see the baffle is clearly missing, but when we look at the second picture, it looks just like the furnace we just showed with the baffle in place. If you're suspecting that you have a furnace where the secondary heat exchanger was replaced and it's tripping the high limit, but you can't identify why, take a peek down through this primary heat exchanger to see if that plate is there. If it is there, that's not your problem. If it's not, you're gonna trip in high fire, guaranteed. Hope this video was helpful. Take care.